everyone, I'm Lauren and I'm back again to doing my uh, best picture nominee project review thing. Today I'm going to be looking at Rebecca, which was the winner of the best picture in 1940. So this is an adaptation of the book by the same name by, I think, Daphne du Maurier. Um, I'm bad with names, but I've, I've heard that one enough that I think that's what her name is. But anyway, I don't know really anything about the book because I haven't read it. Um, other than, like I know it's a classic and I've heard it's kind of a thrillery mystery thing. And I mean that's kind of what this film is. Um, I should also say that this film is directed by Alfred Hitchcock with conjunction with some other guy who might be famous but I don't know who he is. So this is my first Alfred Hitchcock film. What a weird way to start. Oh yeah, I have the physical version but I forgot to get it over here. Ah. Pretend it's here. I have the nice Criterion version, which is a very well mas remastered version. Whatever you say to restore films. Restored? I don't know. Whatever. So yeah, it's a, it's a kind of a mystery thrillery film about this really newlywed couple and the wife, who's the main character and who's never named, um, learns about her husband's um, ex. Maybe ex is not the right word because it's a little like, oh, she died. Uh, what do you call that? Deceased wife, ex-wife, whatever? I don't, I don't know. Her, his previous wife. <laughs> she learns about his previous wife called Rebecca and there's, um, uh, this kind of pressure on her to be more like Rebecca and everyone's saying how Rebecca was so great and oh this was decided by Rebecca and Rebecca always used to do this so there's kind of a pressure for her to be like Rebecca and also there's a bit of um uh, she's trying to figure out more and more about Rebecca and it kind of gets down into the spiral I guess <laughs> I don't know the best way to say it and um yeah I don't want to talk too much about it because it is pretty mystery type thing but I will say I really enjoyed it um it was definitely like ooh what's gonna happen like ooh little tidbit here and there and like what what's the deal with this guy why is um the husband so protective of this or that and that kind of thing so it was very intriguing like that and it was just really well done I don't know uh, composition wise how well it was I don't tend to be very good at picking those out unless they're really, really obvious, but I feel like everybody was an interesting act actor or actress, so that's something that is even harder for me to pick out. I'm like, ooh, everybody did a really good job here, I think. I have absolutely no idea how faithful it is to the book or not. I, from what I read in the, there's a little booklet that comes with the Criterion release of this, and it talks a little bit about how it was made. And it sounds like they may have changed some things. So if you're a diehard Rebecca book fan, uh, keep that in mind that there might be some things that are a little bit different. So whether you like that or don't, I don't, you know, that's kind of up, up to you and your tastes. But I cannot tell what's different because I do not know. But as a film by itself, um, without any knowledge of the book, I did really, really like it. And I really recommend it. Um, the only problem with it is that it's not streaming anywhere, from what I could tell. It's not on like Netflix or Amazon or that kind of thing, so that was partially why I bought it. Um, but I heard it was also good, so double ways and Alfred Hitchcock. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you are interested in watching it. Um, I think there's some other versions other than the Criterion version that, uh, that you can buy, so, but the Criterion one isn't that expensive, from what I remember. I'd recommend checking it out if you're into kind of mystery-ish type stuff. It's less on the thriller, more mystery and intrigue type thing. Uh, I'm just not very good at describing that kind of genre, but that kind of thing. So anyway, uh, that's all I have really to say about it, but let me know if you watched it or if you're interested in watching it or if you read the book, how good is a book? I've heard it's good, but I don't know. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in another video. Bye!